Roosevelt moved decisively to restore confidence in the country's financial system. In one daring move, he closed the nation's banks and ordered the Treasury to rush them $2 billion in new currency. Let me make it clear that the banks will take care of all needs. The reaction was to his closing of the bank, thank God, somebody has come in and had done something. When the banks reopened, deposits easily exceeded withdrawals. Rescuing the banks was only the beginning. In his first hundred days in the White House, Roosevelt moved at a breathtaking pace, regulating business, helping farmers, pumping new money into the economy. It was the most massive intervention in the lives of the American people the country had ever known. Roosevelt put people on the government payroll when private business didn't hire them fast enough. The wild boys of the road became part of the Civilian Conservation Corps, planting trees and building roads across America. They shipped us out to the bottom of Grand Canyon. We'd build trails, you know, for people coming in sightseeing. We got $5 a month, and they sent 25 home for your family to live on. And his was the federal government stepping in to help people. It may not have been enough. In some cases, it didn't help. But somebody was trying. And one had that feeling that maybe it was going to work. <laughs> 